What's going on guys, it's Baz here from Game and & Gem and this is my list of the best mice you can get right now. I've tested over 20 mice in the past year and this is what I believe to be the very best picks. Each of these mice have been graded on their shape, their clicks, side buttons, mouse feet and cable where necessary. Also don't forget to check out my individual reviews for each of these mice as well if you want more information. Also check out my mouse tool over on the website at gamingem.com slash choose my mouse. I'll have a link in the description. The tool's got a list of all my ratings for the mice, all their specs. Um, it will allow you to filter mice by specific things that you're looking for. Any of the links that you use on the website or in the description also helps support the channel. Let's jump into my number five. Sitting at number five on my list is the Glorious Model D. This is probably the best ergonomic mouse on the market right now, particularly for the price. At the time this video was made, there's only one size available, but it's likely that Glorious will provide a minus version similar to the Model O. We'll just have to wait and see. It's a little bit longer than the G-Wolf Skull by around 3mm, but it's narrower by 5mm. Overall, it's a similar size, but it's a lot larger than the EC2B for comparison. It does, however, make up for this in weight as it's only 68 grams compared to the EC2B's 90 grams. The Glorious Model D is suited towards palm grip players and claw grip players with medium to large hands. The mouse uses the PMW3360 sensor, a top-end optic that's commonly used on many of the mice today. It uses Glorious' own G-Skates PTFE feet, which are very good stock feet, and Glorious have also improved on their cables compared to their initial releases with the Model O, providing much more flexibility. Moving on to my number four now, and it's the Glorious Model O. There are two sizes available, the regular and the minus version. The regular being more suited towards medium to large hands, and the minus version obviously small to medium. Both these mice are geared towards claw grip or fingertip players, but it can be used by palm grip players too, it's just quite low profile. Glorious pretty much took the popular Zowie FK shape and upgraded it with a better sensor, a more lightweight feel and RGB. The shape is actually one of my favourites, having originally used an FK1. The clicks on the Model O are very good considering the price of the mouse and there's also minimal wobble, similar to the Glorious Model D. The sensor is the 3360 again, so great optic. Not top of the line, but you won't notice the difference. Similar to the Glorious Model D, the Model O uses Glorious' own PTFE feet as well. These are totally fine out the box, but they're still not as good as aftermarket feet, but they'll do the job. On to what I believe to be the most underrated mouse ever, and definitely the most underrated mouse of 2019, the Endgame XM1. The XM1 has my favourite shape of any mouse on the market right now and it is the ideal claw grip mouse. It can also be used by fingertip players too or palm grip players with smaller hands. The clicks are the closest to rival Logitech yet in my opinion and they are equally as satisfying and responsive. The sensor is the 3389 which is a top optic, absolutely no issues here and the mouse feet are PTFE, they're fine, but I ended up upgrading mine to some core pad aftermarket feet, which did make a big difference. Recently, the XM1 has also been updated with a new paracord as well. One of the main things that was holding the XM1 back was the rubber cable. Endgame Gear listened to feedback and they updated the mouse with a new paracord, which definitely upgrades the mouse and that's why it's featured so high on this list. The one thing I do think Endgame could still improve on though is the side buttons. They do feel a little bit mushy and I'm still not convinced with the shape of them. Overall, the XM1 is an awesome mouse. The clicks are seriously, seriously good. Uh, definitely don't sleep on this mouse if you're looking for a new claw grip mouse. On to my number two now and it's the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Still a personal favourite of mine after its release back in 2018. The shape is more of an all-rounder, it lends itself more towards palm and claw grip, but it can be used by fingertip users too. The arch is a little higher, which is why it's slightly more suited towards palm and claw. Logitech still maintained the absolute best clicks on the market right now, hands down. 
they feel the most responsive and satisfying. Obviously there's going to be some concerns out there about the double clicking issue that the G Pro Wireless suffers from, but I did experience this on my first copy, but Logitech are very quick to provide a return unit and the unit I've had now for over a year and a half has stood strong. The G Pro Wireless uses Logitech's Hero sensor, which is arguably one of the best sensors on the market, along with Razer's Focus Plus. It's worth mentioning that the G Pro Wireless's side buttons are also modular. You can pull them out and replace them with stoppers. So if you don't want to use one side, that's really easy to do. Also, the mouse has full RGB and the battery life is said to last around about 60 hours with the RGB turned off and around four to eight hours with the RGB turned on. But generally speaking, I usually get a little bit more than that. The one thing I don't like about the G Pro Wireless is the mouse feet. I think that they're slightly below average for stock mouse feet. So to get the absolute most out of this mouse, definitely recommend getting yourself some aftermarket mouse feet. Overall, the G Pro Wireless is an amazing mouse. It's used the most by professional esports players across pretty much every game. You can actually check out one of the studies I did on the most used mice used by professional esports players in the link in the description if you want. But if you're looking for a wireless mouse for a palm grip or claw grip, then definitely check out the G Pro Wireless. So moving on to the number one spot, the best gaming mouse you can get right now. It was actually quite difficult to knock the G Pro Wireless down to position two, but in my opinion, the Razer Viper Ultimate deserves the top spot right now. Razer kind of came out of nowhere last year with the release of the Viper series and the Razer Viper Ultimate didn't disappoint. There's also the Razer Viper, the standard version, and the Razer Viper Mini as well, which has just recently been released. As for the Viper Ultimate though, it has an amazing shape for claw and fingertip players, very similar to the FK series in the Model O with that really low profile design and minimal hump. As I've already spoken about, there's a range of different mice in the series, so there's one for each budget and for different hand sizes. Razer have designed their own switches using infrared light in order to register clicks. I really like them. Uh, I know that there's a few people in the community uh, that didn't like them, thought that they felt a little bit mushy, but personally for me, I have to disagree. I think they feel really tactile and nice. Not as good as the G Pro Wireless or the XM1 though, so if clicks are important to you, take that into consideration. As for the side buttons, I think they're great. They're on par with G Pro Wireless, maybe not quite as good, but still very, very good. They don't stick out from the shell though, so you might struggle to roll your thumb up and click them. This is something that Razer addressed in the new Razer Viper Mini, where the buttons actually stick out from the shell slightly more. The sensor in the Ultimate is also one of the best alongside the Logitech's Hero. It's Razer's own Focus Plus sensor, so no gripes here. As for the mouse feet, they are perfectly fine stock feet. They'll do the job just fine. Still not as good as aftermarket feet as you would expect, but they are definitely better than the G Pro Wireless's. In terms of battery life, the Razer Viper is marketed at around about 70 hours without RGB and around 48 hours with RGB. I ended up finding it around about the same as the G Pro Wireless. So there you have it, that is my top five. I think the Razer Viper Ultimate is the best, but only marginally. And it's only because I think it has a better shape compared to the G Pro Wireless. As for some honourable mentions, I'm going to give it to the Pronage Ultra Custom, recently released by Pronage, which is a wireless ergonomic mouse. I actually think it's a solid mouse, however I did have issues with the tracking. I felt that the liftoff distance was a little high, which is why it got knocked down a peg. It provides some really nice customizability with the different shells and nice to see a USB-C charging cable. Another mouse I think that was worth a mention and that was underrated last year is the Xrefi M4. It's got one of the best build quality of any of the mice released last year and the clicks are extremely good. So if you're looking for an ergonomic mouse and you don't like the look of the Model D or the Model D is a little bit too large for you, then look at the Xtrify M4. It's significantly smaller and the clicks are amazing and the cable's pretty solid as well. The last honorable mention goes to the Zowie S series. 
Fantastic shape, very similar to the Viper Ultimate and the Glorious Model O, just that the hump is higher and it's a little bit further back on the mouse. So if you like something like the MM710 or something similar, then you might want to pick up the S series mice. It is a little bit heavier than the ones I've just spoken about and it does have a rubber cable. The scroll wheel isn't great, but overall it's the shape that sells that mouse. So there you have it, that is my list of the best gaming mice available right now. I'll do another one of these videos later on in the year, but if you've got any questions about what mouse to pick up or anything, drop it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to it. Also check the links in the description for the mouse tool or for any links to these mice, that really helps support the channel. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.